AM shop. Hi everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Robert Osborne has the night off, giving me the opportunity to introduce films featuring our star of the month, Robert Redford. Tonight, we've been showing Redford in romantic dramas. I can't imagine why he keeps getting cast in them. Up next, it's Mia Farrow, starring opposite Redford in a big budget adaptation of a classic F. Scott Fitzgerald novel from Paramount Pictures in 1974. It's The Great Gatsby. This is the third big screen adaptation of Fitzgerald's tragic love story. Paramount made a silent version in 1926, but that film has been lost. Then, in 1949, the studio made a version with Alan Ladd, but that version has rarely been seen due to rights issues. We actually showed it at the TCM Classic Film Festival last April. We hope one day to bring it to you here on TCM. When Paramount began making this version, it was intended as a showcase for Ally McGraw, who was married to Paramount production chief Robert Evans. However, during pre-production, McGraw began a relationship with Steve McQueen, ending her marriage to Evans and her association with the film. Don't feel too bad for Evans, though. He's something of a pro at ending marriages. He's been married seven times. With McGraw out, the film's focus then turned to Redford, who plays Gatsby. Several top actresses were considered for the female lead, including his Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid leading Lady Catherine Ross. But Mia Farrow campaigned hard for the role. Eventually, she got the part. Here's the film from 1974 with a cast that also includes Bruce Dern, Sam Waterston, and Karen Black, The Great Gatsby. 